Before I go into making a cover for the album, somebody asked me what the comparison was between the combo Fiery Sunset and Pink Flamingo and Cherry Pie and Bubblegum Pink. So I'm going to test it out and I'm going to use the same paper. I'm going to use Dilutions Makes Media Card Stock because that's what our paint works best on. And I'm also going to use a sheet of this for the cover. So I'm just going to put a little bit on and spread it with my finger. So that's pink flamingo. And fiery sunset. So then I'm guessing, because to me neither of these are close to fiery sunset, but I'm guessing she was probably thinking the cherry pie would be, and the bubble gum pink would be close to pink flamingo. And I already know by looking at this, because this is a brighter pink. Bubblegum pink is one of my favorites. Guess I should use a different finger. <laughs> That's hard. Now, my paint, my cherry pie paint is not in the best condition, but I should still be able to spread it. So as you can see, all four colors are very different. I think the closest resemblance is cherry pie to pink flamingo. But that's the difference. So we have pink flamingo, fiery sunset, bubblegum pink, and cherry pie. So I'm not really entirely sure what I want to do with the cover, but I'm thinking, I don't know, I'm thinking of patchwork of some sort. I really don't know. I may try it and dislike it. But I'm sticking with the cocktail colors since that's what I used in the book. And there's six colors, so I'm going to divide this one sheet into six pieces. And then color each of those pieces with the cocktails. This is eight and a half, so we want four and a quarter. Now, so nine, and one, two, three. So be three. I'm going to do three and a half this way because I'm not going to get, I don't want to get right down I'm trying to figure out how to divide it evenly.
And I know I used that for that, but I'm not worried about it because I won't see it when I am done. This paper is not even. So that's how much you have left over. No big deal. So I'm going to take each of these. I'm trying to decide if I just want to do it solid or if I want to do it one color and then stencil on top of it in another color. And I do really feel it takes more of the paint to get it covered. Okay, so that's one coat. That's all I'm going to do for now. And like the rest of the album, I have no plan. I'm just figuring it out as I go. So that first one I did was Tropical Sangria. This one is Mango Punch. I think I run out at the same point. nice and bright. And we have lemon drop. It's funny when I gel printed with these I had no idea there was a ball inside and you had to shake them. So I don't know if that made a difference because remember when I was using them on the gel plate and they were beating up. I think that sponge is hard. This one is strawberry daiquiri. I love this color.
don't know if you can hear it, but my dog is snoring. Blue Hawaiian. Definitely my least favorite. <laughs> and then sour apple tea. going to hear the shower, right? So that's the six colors. And I'm trying to decide if I should stencil on top of them. And so if I'm going to try yellow on top of the blue or the green. I don't clean my stencils, so this could work against me. Makes me like the blue more. <laughs> green paint left so I'm gonna try it on top of here court jester and this one was Maisie's no <laughs> Martha's mat and this one's court jester I don't know why I almost always say gesture I did in one of my videos This is going to look not good. Oops. It's moving. Huh. It's not best. I'll wait for it to dry and maybe I'll go over it with a different color. So I'm done with the green. So I'll try the blue. On top of the yellow. I'll go with the old school numbers. I took it too much paint.
think the reason this one didn't come out nice is because I was going with like the blue family on top of like the pinks. Get your whole warm and cool thing. And I thought with the paint being dry, it would be okay, but it just looks like poop. <laughs> Does not look good. Since I have some blue left over, I was going to go with yellow on this one. Actually, I'm still going to. Yellow and these big circles. show up very much. I'm going to take see if there's anything left. There we go. Can I get a mixture of the blue and the yellow? try and go back over it with the tropical sangria so you know what I could do I could no nope, I can't put that one on. darn it it had to be that one If it bothers me that much in the end, I just won't use it, but I don't know. I don't think it'll be too bad. I'm going to go with quilts. I already did sangria. So I will do strawberry daiquiri on top of the mango punch. And my sponge. Huh? When I touch it, it doesn't feel hard, but when I'm doing this seems like it is. Mm. It's working weird. Strawberry Decory with old school letters. I don't want to use that section because it is. I need to get that out of my way. The part on my end sticks up, so my sponge will get caught on it.
pushing down a little because where I'm having a hard time with. I never used to. I see it didn't even go in the small ones. A fine big section, the big letters. So I think my tool must be too hard or something. I have not had much luck using the cocktails with the blending tool. I don't know why, but it has not been working for me. So that's that. Now, I think I'm going to doodle around them, but I'm not going to use my nice juicy pen. I think I'm going to just find a ballpoint pen because it won't be as bold. So I don't know if I have one here in my drawer. Nope. Let's see if this one works. Nope. So you see how much more dull that is then. So this is the ballpoint pen and that's my inky one. And when I do inky on top of paint, it's even more vibrant. As I do this one, it's not. So that's why I'm going with a ballpoint. So I'm having this I have an idea of like cutting these squares up even further and placing them on another piece of paper and then sewing around the edges so it kind of has like a patchwork look. That is my Part of my idea, that's how far I've kind of gotten. <laughs> then I'll go from there. Then I'm thinking maybe a piece of collage on top. I'm not sure, it depends on how it looks because I don't want it to be too crazy and busy. We'll see what it looks like when I get to that stage. This one is Martha's mat, and instead of doing the circles, I'm doing the little diamond patterns in between. Because I already had the circles outlined in that one. So it needs to cover, something this big, and I obviously don't need all of it. So 
I'm going to get a piece of paper and I think I'll go with black. Sweet. So I'm ready to size. Just need to cut it down. Place my blade. Actually, I'm going to need that. So I'm just going to cut in different sizes. I'm not going to have them all squares or all rectangles. I'm going to do a combo. And some big, some small. I can tell that's crooked. My thing doesn't cut straight. I don't feel like that's the same. That's like a quarter, more than a quarter. It's off just by the slightest little bit, but I can see it, and it's driving me crazy. I'm going to have to cut it with scissors. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to act so frustrated, but... It's not off by a lot, but it's all I can see. It's just... You see how little it is? But that's all I could see when I'm looking at it. I could tell that... I could tell it went up. It was off by that much. <laughs> I'm telling you, it would have bugged me. So you see the idea? I'm using the lines instead of buttoning, butting it up against the ledge. And I'm not making any measurements. Now, when it comes down to having more space, um, or I should say less space to fill, then I may have to make some measurements. But for now, I'm just going to place them. So I don't want that to be a pain, so I may butt that up against there. And now I might take a measurement for this space. Although, no, because I don't want don't want everything perfectly lined up. I 
that is one and a quarter. It doesn't really matter how I do it that way. I'm going to do it in this one. And I'm going to go one and a quarter. Do you feel better having yours like all the same size? Then go ahead, it'll make it a lot easier. <laughs> but very seldom do I do things easy. I'm starting to wonder if I should leave spaces in between. No, I don't want to. So the stitching will... I'll do the stitching in black. I think I'm going to go ahead and glue these down as I go. I think that will make it easier. It would make it easier if my glue came out. much glue again. I'm not doing good with this whole glue thing. know why I'm using so much because I'm going to be going um, I don't think that's where I had that one <laughs> I don't oh well that's where it's going now um, I'm going to need glue in the middle because I'm going to be sewing around I forgot it doesn't matter if they're curling up on the edges because I'll be sewing around. Let me do that one. I don't have this pink yet. Let's 
feel like I want a sliver. this one in place. Then I'm just taking this piece of paper and butting it up along there and marking where I need to cut it this way. And I'll do that first. just marking where this one ends and that's where I'm going to cut it the other way. I'm just marking where I need to cut it and I want to go longer than this one so I'm going to cut it about here. Are you liking this or is this just like, ah, <laughs> way too much? I think I'm going to like it, surprisingly. I wouldn't have thought I would, but I am. It is a little annoying cutting these pieces, I'm not going to lie, but I do think it'll be worth it. Sometimes we just want to get it done, but when we take the time and do these annoying things, it can turn out so nice. I actually had planned on going this far with it. I was going to be a bit more basic. But I'm trying to think now that somebody did something similar I think I know her name too. I, I can't 
Like I can picture some of the letters. I'll try to find her on Instagram. Pretty sure she, but like she did more layers. I'm just doing like one simple, what's her name? It starts with an M. I'm pretty sure it does. Oh, there it is. I don't even know how to say her name. I'm pretty sure it's her. I'm going to scroll through her feed quickly and see if I can find it. I really feel like it was her. That was quite a while ago. Yes. I don't know if you can see this, but she has squares. I think she did squares all the same size and she just glued them all down and she didn't stitch around everyone she just did random stitching and then she glued more squares on top of that and it was gorgeous but I'm not and she put some circles and stuff on top after as well Isn't that gorgeous so hopefully you can see her name there I don't know how it's showing up that's M-A-R-I-J-E-V-D-Z-E-D-D. -D -D. She has some really nice stuff. This one. Yeah, this is showing what she did. She has a punch and she cut out squares all the same size. Which would be so much easier. <laughs> So yeah. When I started doing this, I hadn't even thought of that, but then as I started gluing these down, I'm like, wait a minute. And then I remembered she had done pretty much the same. I mean, it's almost the same. It's really close. She does a lot of, I don't even do what she does, but I still enjoy watching her videos. Um, kind of like a daily journaling type thing. Like she has a YouTube channel. I follow her on Instagram and YouTube. I enjoy her stuff. Oh, I'll show you. This is a cover I made. Like, and again, I sewed around each piece. But this is a distress cover I made that I never ended up using. I ended up using a different one because the colors didn't go with the inside of the album. But I love it. This is using distress oxides. And inks and stamping and all the kinds of stuff. But you can see, and again, I didn't do just squares. I did squares and rectangles and sewed around every single piece, which is a pain too. It wouldn't be so bad if it was like squares all lined up, then it would be easy. But where they're all separate, it is a pain. So maybe for this one, instead of going around each one individually, Maybe I will just do random lines like she did. I don't know. We'll see. We shall see. See, it gets harder the more pieces you get down. Especially where you're trying not to put the same pattern too close. It almost starts to feel impossible.
program quiet, but <laughs> I feel like this is taking a little bit of concentration, I guess. It was just a piece that was left over and I decided to put it there. I feel like I could go with this color because it's been a while. I'm committing to that. I'm getting a headache. <laughs> I didn't drink much water today. And I know better. So I do get headaches when I don't drink water. My blade keeps popping out. little pieces that are going to be a pan. <laughs> here I'm going to put that. I'm going to put it a little bigger and then just trim it off. A square for there. I feel like I haven't used this one very much. I'm not going to do this for the back cover. Back, I think it will just be plain 
black. Only one, two, three, four. So there's only two options for this space if I don't want one that's already touching it. That's this one or this one. I'll go with this one. Almost done. I'm going to save those just in case I need it. You could also do this with washi tape if you want. Or a combo of washi tape and paper. That could be cool. This one. It's getting easier for me to put on these end pieces. Just glue this and then cut it off. I know it's close, but I feel like It's getting harder.
I guess I decided to use that after all. <laughs> I just realized as I glued it down. that so now now I'm trying to decide about the sewing machine okay I'm not sure how good this is gonna be for you to watch but I'm gonna try so I put some black thread up here and in my bobbin and I'm going to select, I think I'm going to do a zigzag stitch. I just want to see what it's going to look like. This one better. Okay, so I have it set on a zigzag at one for length and four point five for the width. So I'm gonna start like this one. I can see this line continues all the way down here. So I'm gonna choose to do that one and. Like I'm going to select lines that I can get long lengths out of and then I'm going to see if I want to do every single one. I may just choose areas that has long lengths where I can just go in one straight line on a straight edge of all the squares and rectangles. I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> That looks so nice. I love that. Um, another one that's here.
loving it. Loving it, loving it. I was off at the top, like it started over here, but I'm just going to leave it. tell you how happy it makes me. <laughs> I just love the look of the black stitching against the bright colors. I think it looks awesome. Every time I pull it out and I look at the stitching, I get excited. At the end I just do a couple back stitches even though this will be glued onto another piece of paper or something most likely to hide the stitching on the back I do love it. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm not going to record the rest because I'm just going to sew. And I still haven't decided if I'm going to do around every single piece. So we'll see. So I ended up going around every single square, or rectangle, both, whatever. <laughs> and then I took another piece of black cardstock and I cut it to the same size. And I just took two pieces of double-sided sticky tape and I put one here and here, just enough to keep it in place for me to sew around the perimeter. And that's what I'm going to do now. And I'm going to use the same stitch.
I like it. Okay, the cover is done. Well, the paper and the sewing. And I love it. I really, really do. Gets me happy. So the only thing now, I need a back cover and a spine. And we have to figure out how we're going to add these pages and add the tabs that we made. So all that is left to be done, but that is going to be the cover. And I think I'm picturing maybe something here. I'm not sure. We'll wait and see.